Okay, right. So what did you say what I was talking about? Um, I said, well, last, yes, last week I discussed Freud in class, and I thought it would be cool to, to just explore a little bit why we actually teach Freud. And that might sound like a silly question. People think about psychology, the kind of body of work, the canon, is fixed in stone, but of course it's not. Yeah, I have must here. Yeah. Yeah. Freud in Africa, yeah? Yeah, so why, why should we teach Freud in the year 2022 in Africa? Yeah, you know, why? Is it not time for us to abandon him? To abandon him. Yeah, yeah that's a good reason. Yeah. Um, and I think it's an important question to ask for students as well, not to assume that psychology has to be taught in a particular way, and it has to be a kind of succession of particular theorists. But why do you teach Freud? Yeah, I mean, so, so having said, do that, I want to teach Freud? I think I want to teach Freud. Yeah, so having said that, uh, I absolutely want to teach Freud. Freud is, is is interesting, really. I mean, it's like a, both the breath. Right? Yeah. The breadth of his work is, I want to, I, I think Freud is interesting he, for saying stuff. At the yeah. basic level, he said a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's like, I always like think to figure out whether Freud is correct about stuff is less interesting than to, to follow the, the questions that he asked. Yeah. You know, he, like, he, was, he was brave enough to ask really difficult questions about being human and not to shy away from the, the kind of darker, less comfortable things, you know, and I think there were uncomfortable questions in his time, they still are now, aggression, sexuality, and so on. Yeah, this idea, I mean, the unconscious is like a, he didn't invent it, but he's that, he yeah. wrote the most about it, yeah. about the concept yeah. of the unconscious. Yeah, and I think, I mean, also the thing people might think, say, well, everyone talks about sex nowadays, but I think the, the thing with Freud is, he still doesn't talk about sex purely in a kind of predictable way he yeah. problematizes it and he says to us sex is still a problem for you guys you got you still um, struggle with what it means to be a sexual being um i was telling people about this, your design, this, this yeah. book you, you gave me i said you know one of the things that i i mean about it, it comes from freud basically where it mm. comes from kind of freudian thought, thought about we don't always know what desires yeah and freud basically set it down okay you don't you don't know as much as you think you know but also you there's a lot of stuff you don't know about yeah about yourself about your desires about your yourself yeah i mean that that is a yeah uh it, it's it's baffling it's just but it's it's something to think about you know yeah the other reason i think why one should teach freud is that freud is culturally has been so influential that almost none of us very few of us do not, to some extent, understand ourselves in Freudian terms. The unconscious, mm. repression, projection. So in that sense, um, in order to understand humans, modern humans, modernity, you have to understand Freud. If you have to understand something about Freud, because he became so, he almost became more true as the years went by and people started understanding themselves. Yeah. It it is I mean, it, we're still in more right there, looking at them. What is that brilliant called? Oh, oh, oh. The old man Just to Bowen. think about Freud mm. here. Yeah. Mm. What, 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 uh, so one of the things we don't do enough, I guess, here, I'm sure other people have done it and I haven't seen it, um, to think Freud from here. Yeah, absolutely. No. Be, you know, just for students to think about Freud mm. in their lives. So you, mm. you said something about the family. Yeah. Anyway, what did you say? Yeah, I think for Freud, the family, so, so I think what's wonderful about Freud is that he sees the family not as a kind of neutral space. It's a complex, emotionally torture space. But for him, the family is very yeah. much still mom, dad, kids. So of course, if you want to stick, if you want to still read Freud, mm. you've got to update the kind of um, right. That's the model it. of the family. Yeah. And of course, the mom, mom kids, or the dad, dad kids, or, or the, extended or complex, extended or one, yeah. or one person, are, yeah. yeah they, they're still emotionally complicated spaces. But you have to rethink Freud's um, basic theory, I guess. Yeah. Um, and, you know, earlier when I, was, I had the mask, I had a different mask. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another mask here. I mean, the, the, the unconscious and the drama that Freud, Freud might not have thought about. 
maybe he did I saw this movie about uh, the kinds of material that goes into the unconscious from other yeah. places than yeah. Vienna yeah. yeah 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 so I think well, one, the important point you made just a little bit earlier the idea of we have to think Freud from here mm. and I think in order to do that you have to also understand what Freud was or how Freud was part of his time and his place. Yeah. There's something about early 20th century Vienna which makes that theory possible. Right. It doesn't mean it's restricted to that then, but Freud comes from a very specific, he, he writes from there. Um, yeah, and he used to walk the streets of, of Vienna with yeah. a cigar. Yeah, you have, to, you have to bring that detail back into the theory, I think, in order to to give it the texture that will make it possible to translate it if, if needed. But what's happening, I think, to psychological theories, they become so abstract. Uh -huh. They take it away from the cigar and the walking and the, the friendships and the enemies. And the, uh -huh. I think ma many people, I think people do know this, but maybe they don't quite articulate it, that to have, let's say, dialogue, right? Dialogue needs space. We are talking in a room, yeah. in a building, yeah. in a town. Mm. So uh, the self same thing it happens in a place in a town in a village um, and so all the material that goes into that mm. i think there's people sometimes don't quite articulate how that works mm. Mm. so they think of freud you know uh, so yeah i'd say i like teaching freud i think we should teach him and learn about him in, in more interesting ways yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah i think uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, yeah, I think, reading the, the Freud chapter yeah. and watching Freud movies. There's a one yeah. on Netflix. I think, yeah. I think the best thing students can do is to go beyond the textbook and then read a little bit of Freud himself, about him. Ask questions about yeah. him. YouTube. Yeah. Disagree with him, but also yeah. give him, you know, I mean, it it's, yeah. it's, it's doesn't mean uh, you're not thinking for yourself. After thinking in ways, it's what, yeah. what is this, yeah. this thing about the... About the super ego, the ego, the id. Mm. I think yeah, for for some of the stuff Freud wrote, it's like a, yeah, this this guy was working hard, really. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So yeah. All Thanks. right. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. See you next time.